welcome to vlogmas day 24 it's christmas eve and i thought i'd start the vlog because it's snowing it's snowing you can't see it as well on the camera but it's snowing more than you think i did a christmas themed nail last night i painted them last night but the, I tried to do like little candy canes on these um, nails, these ones with the red, but I was struggling with the making the red neat, so it's not the neatest. And then I added some green dots. So these are my Christmas nails. And then that side, I never do this thumb because I like to have a thumb so I can actually do stuff and get things done. And you know, because look, they're quite long and I can't do it with long nails. So it's a little bit later on in the day. I haven't actually really done anything specific today or anything like that. Um, it's about 12 o'clock and I've just been planning. So I'll show you roughly what I've been doing. But basically I bought a planner from b and I'll show you what it looks like, which is here. And I was gonna use this as my like diary for next year, planning what I wanna get done every single week for just general life. However, I thought, you know what, this would be a good thing to keep for my um, products and my little skincare business for next year to plan things. I won't show too much, but this is what the planner actually looks like. And then if we open it up, sorry, I've only got one hand. I like the marble look of it as well. And um, if we open it up, we've got a section for plans. So this is where I will do like what I've got to do in terms of just my little skincare business um, per day and also per week, what I'm gonna sort of needing to do. So I'll do that every week, plan what I need to do in the week. Um, then here I've got ideas of products that I might, you know, wanna do this year. Um, and then I'm gonna write down what my current products are and keep a tally of what my current products are at any point through the year things that I need to buy are on this side um, I'm then going to write my overall sales so the product the price of that product that it sells for and then the total I've also got profit per product and I'm considering postage because um, I'm going to consider the postage cost in the price of the product so I want to put my products to be free delivery basically for the buyer then i have to keep track of selling fees for the month from etsy and ebay so that's going to go down here because it's going to be different every month then i can do profit for each month so i'll work out how many pro how much profits i've made for january february march etc um, and then obviously i can write more notes here for any of those that i've just mentioned goals for the month i'm just going to write what i want to get done for that month or whatever if i want to do something and what i want to achieve or anything like that so i'm not too sure on this just yet things to remember i've got to kind of scribble out someone's name there um but i've got to post someone's samples calculate profit for my current products um retake pictures for moisturizer and plan january's product launch i've pretty much done um that last one that i've just mentioned um but there's loads of these pages and then at the end, there's a little pouch. This is where I'm going to keep the receipts of posted items so that if somebody claims I haven't posted their item, I can say, yes, I have. Here it is. So that's what's going to go in here. So yeah, I was spent the morning doing that. Also, I planned my first product that I want to launch in January um, based on what I just have and what ingredients that I already have and things that I need to get. Yeah, so basically I just planned what product I want to do for January. I planned the ingredients that I need for it. Most of them I've already got. Um, the packaging and labels and stuff like that. And also um, how to make the product, where to get the packaging from, links to that also as well so that it's all like in one space. And then also I have also planned um, how much it's going to cost me per product, how many that is going to make and how, like how many products it's going to make and then profits per product for each ingredient and then overall profits add on the postage and then after that i can work out kind of how much the cost per product is and then how much i want to sell it for based on that um because obviously i'm not going to be ridiculous and really price high the products so if you ever see like one of my products and the pricing is based on how much it actually cost me to make that so i've priced it and then i write down how much profit i make from that product so yeah not the most festive of things to do, but I enjoy it. Right, we're, I'm all wrapped up. We're about to go out to Lincoln 
to do some walking around. We might find a coffee or a, a cake or something um, whilst we're in Lincoln, but we just decided to walk around um, for Christmas Eve. And then tonight we're gonna have a fire and camembert and lots of things. So stay tuned. You excited for Christmas, Tommy? Um. I'm going that far. Me and Tommy slept in the living room last night on the or well, Tommy slept on the floor and I slept on the sofa. <laughs> did you sleep well? I did actually. Apart yeah. from me. We're in the car waiting for Dad to come out. Doing whatever. <laughs> oh he's coming. Oh, he's getting in the car. Yeah. Are you excited for Christmas Eve, Mum? I am, I'm looking forward to later when we sort of, because we've been doing jobs so far, haven't we? So it hasn't yeah. been very Christmas Eve yet, apart from the snow. Um, so, yeah, later on when we get back from our coffee and a cake, biscuit, tree, we can uh, have more. <laughs> more. Large biscuits and treats. <laughs> That's finally here. I've been grabbing that camembert out of the fridge, Pooh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Bye, bungalow. See you later, alligator. Look at that. I know, it's massive. <laughs> uh, right. We're still in the car. It's cold. I was going to film my hot chocolate and I got Rocky Road, but I didn't film it because I was too cold. Like, my hands were literally falling off. I was wearing gloves, but for some reason my nails were piercing through the end of the gloves. Dad, we're going a bit fast, aren't we? What the heck? Um, anyway, um, so yeah, what did you have, Mum? I had a hot sausage roll and a large hot chocolate. Oh my god, the screen steamed up. I know. Sorry if, if it's not good quality, it's so cold that the screen has steamed up. Um, but I've just, we just nipped back because my dad needed to give one of the other tenants an electric card. So I actually had something in the post and I know what it is. I ordered from this person who, I actually did a collab with her on my channel years ago and she's got a small business. She was included in my small business gift guide and I will link her Etsy page in the description to this video, if I remember, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I've just, I ordered something off her. So I'm gonna open that, I'll show you it. Right, I'm back. I was trying to explain something in the car. However, I do think that the um, coldness of the camera and the coldness of the air made the camera steam up. So I thought I would film what I was trying to explain in the car now so you can actually see what I'm showing because I couldn't show it in there. But we're back. I'm getting warm because I was cold in the car. My feet were literally dying. Um, oh, there's a Mad Axeman at the window. Hello. He's literally got an axe. <laughs> Dad. I literally, Tommy came to the window and I literally said there's a mad axeman at the window and then I looked and Tommy actually had an axe in his hand. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, we'll say goodbye to that. But yeah, we're going to get a fire going later on. Um, and some camembert. I thought I would show you my order from Love Lucy Crafts. I ordered from her because I really like the stuff that she makes and... I thought she, oh hello, I thought that was hello. dad. And yeah, I thought I'd show you how it comes. I will link her Instagram in the description. Um, but yeah, it came a bit neater than this, but obviously I've opened it. A cute little thank you card, that's so cute. Um, with her like Instagram and everything on it. And then, all nicely packaged up. This is the little love heart that I ordered that you hang up. I wanted something um, that I could hang up because I've got, that she did coasters and I was considering whether to get a coaster, so maybe I will in the future, but I have got quite a few coasters, so I thought I would get a little love heart and yeah, I can then hang it up throughout the year. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna hang that up. But yeah, honestly, this feels so smooth. That's so, oh my God, look how smooth that is. That's so nice. But yeah, this is really, really nice. So yeah, very good. I will link her Instagram in the description box. And then obviously it came with a little, um receipt as well so yeah go and check that out do you know what i might do i might hang it on the christmas tree until i go back home like just on a random place on the christmas tree that would look so cool if we had like quite a few of those but yeah so happy with that very happy with that 
There's already a few presents underneath the tree. Got a few little presents from my friend Steph. I've got a present from my Nana. This is for Tommy from me. Um, present from my friend Emma. She put on the label to Gigi Beauty. I don't know if you can see. Um, but she put to Gigi Beauty, Merry Christmas, love Emma. My channel used to be called GG Beauty. If you're an OG subscriber, you'll remember. But my channel used to be called GG Beauty and some people would call me GG Beauty like Emma and also my friend Tash used to call me that as well. I find it quite funny, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's funny. I think Emma's the only one left standing that calls me GG Beauty, to be fair. So she can't stop now. She has to carry on um, because you've got to keep that going, Emma. Um, but yeah, so... I'm just trying to procrastinate to keep warm to be honest. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write some more lists of things and planning because I enjoy it. That's what I enjoy doing. So don't think, oh, why you write lists on Christmas Eve? Because I enjoy it, okay? So, um, let's crack on with that. It's Christmas. What time do we have? Uh, um, are we having um, Christmas dinner? Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, oh no, we are, yeah, we are. But me and mum have got camembert to dip it in. But I've also got celery sticks and carrot sticks. Alright. <laughs> if you want to see me making, um, I've learned how to make um, paper a, sticks. A machete? No, watch, I think. So, if you do it like that. What's a paper stick? I'll show you. So then you go. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for the music in the background. I've got that. Who cares if I do? They can remove the song themselves. No, that's in right. See, I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> Is it because I'm filming you're under pressure? No. I only learnt it. Ali showed me and I can't. Is this how it goes? Hey, that's the thing that goes over the fire. That's cute. Well, actually doing that, I'll explain about me getting stabbed in the foot. Yeah, on the way to um, ta town, I forgot to tell you, I was walking along and then suddenly I stood on something in my shoe, it was in my shoe, and I think it was somewhat spiky, it went through my shoe, and I thought, oh, it's just a stone, so I thought I'll carry on walking, and then I was like, damn, that's painful, and then I stood another step and I was like, damn, that's painful too, so I had to stop and literally pulled my shoe off and this spiky thing was sticking out my heel, so I had to pull it out and I think there's some blood on it. Oh yeah, it's the blood on my sock. Yeah, there is, Dad. There's blood on my sock. Is there? Yeah. Oh, nasty. I can see where it went in as well. So it's actually halfway then, Georgie. So you go like this. Are you watching? Yeah. Okay. And basically, you just go... What do you mean by a stick, though? Well, it makes like a... Oh, can I have a taste of it? Yeah. <laughs> Taste test of rum and coke for the first time. Yeah, well, I oh, some more coke in. Smells sweet. Got the ratios completely wrong. You don't like that? You can barely taste the rum. I think your attention seeking. What? I don't really like spirits actually. It tastes like coke. It's you got good. the alcoholic taste. You taste that? Yeah, I've just tasted it. What do you so reckon? what's actually yeah. happening here? All I can see is scrunkled paper. You like it, Dad? Yeah. I, don't, I, I can drink spirits when there's... Well, Hello. Hello. It, ooh. Yeah. This is a better drink. Fancy gin and tonic with rhubarb Thank you. Ooh. Your boy. <sighs> cool. Merry Christmas, you guys. What are you doing? Merry Christmas. Well, I'm trying to make these sticks. Why? That's better. Well, because they burn. Huh. That's it, that's it, that looks like it. Yeah, but we, you did it here just now. Wow. Yeah, we, it's cosy sat on the floor because there's underfloor heating. Mm. Well, that bit would not had it on very long. It. No, but still. <laughs> no, I would yeah, Mum, do you have any presents to open or not? I think way. so. Definitely like shared 45 ones. 45 degrees like that. Yeah, with Dad. But then you're uh, yeah, 290 yeah, degrees. Right, so I think it's a box of chockies from the neighbour's daughter. And the neighbour's daughter. Um, some booze from Ali. Somebody left the bedroom door open. Which one is it? Is that ours? Yeah. That'll be me then, is it? Oh, it is sure. <laughs> I got that on record. Dad just suddenly panicking. Someone's left a door open. Someone's, someone's, someone's ass nearly got whipped. 
<laughs> so dad, could you explain what you're actually doing? Oh, that feels quite solid, doesn't it? <laughs> well, making, uh, making like sticks out of uh, paper. Made a little solid paper stick out of, um, what's it called, newspaper. Does he know where the matches are? No, we're Why, what do you want the matches for? I'm gonna light my little Christmas house. Birds. Tommy got us some chocolates, these are mine. I've got a little crunchy I'm gonna have. And I got my second drink. They're debating about calculators for some reason. Sorry, what? You were debating about calculators. Yeah, but I wanna say. Dad's had too many drinks, clearly. He's done A-level maths, what this calculator looks like. And they know it's sick. He can integrate. I've done A-level maths. Yeah, and you know it's sick. I don't really know because I didn't use it to its yeah, fullest ability. Yeah. ability. Of course you don't. So I'm just planning some YouTube videos for January. Tommy is setting up the fire, lighting the fire. How's it going? Oh, it's actually going alright. Some idiot put wet newspaper in here, but <laughs> Yeah, Mum's just um, sorting out the bread because we're going to have camembert, as I've said many times. There's a little tea light in that um, thing over there as well, which is cute. I think Dad's in the bath, but yeah, I thought I'll take the opportunity to do some YouTube video planning. The fire's going. I'm gonna go chop some squegetables up. Yeah. Did it look splendid? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've just chopped up these carrots and celery so that we can dip it in the camembert. I also, um, my mum chopped up some bread that we're gonna toast in the fire. And then Tommy's got these, well, technically everyone's got these little bruschetta thingies or whatever they're called, I don't know. Still got my gym. And then there's two camemberts to bake in the oven. Very excited. And we're gonna dip the toast and the carrots and celery in the camembert. There's also, sour cream and chive, treacle for like bread and stuff. This is mainly for Tommy, but Italian. Um, tomato pasta sauce that he likes to put on these little guys. And then afterwards, we're gonna make our own mini little ice cream sundaes, which you'll obviously see, but there's gonna be ice cream, put a few brownie chunks in, some marshmallows, milk chocolate chips, and also some chocolate sauce. So it's gonna be yummy. But I'm just gonna head back through and sit in front of the fire. Yeah, it's alright. Mum says there's big changes coming in the new year. I don't like liars. Shall we do um, that thing with our legs? Yeah. Flossing. Flossing. Oh. <laughs> Mum, can you film me and Tommy flossing? Yeah, sure. We need adequate distance apart. What? Social distancing? Exactly. <laughs> That's better. We're going to put on the performance for you guys. Oh, Tom, put them away. Are you ready? Go for it. Three, two, one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah. Hey there. Dad, can you remember how to floss? God knows. I've never managed to do it yet. Well, I, I have no, rhythm. No, I don't have rhythm. Well, I it's yeah. the hips mainly, isn't it, Tommy? It's like dun, dun. Yeah. People don't dun, tend to dun, get the hips dun, right. Dun, dun, it looks. Dun. Faster. You'll get out of sync a bit. Oh, so far, so good. Faster. 
Oh, it's all gone wrong. Oh, oh dear. Look at go. Look at go. It's got Duracell batteries in. <laughs> it's turned it into a mission. Yeah, it's turned it into a competition. Yeah. Everything's a competition. Got my RNC. Sofa chats with Tommy and Dean. We're talking about the fact that um, centrifugal force doesn't exist. What, what the heck, centrifugal force? We're not Gone. geeks, just saying. What is it? So you know when you're like going around about, holding on. Yeah. You feel like you're going this, that you've got to pull away. Yeah. We're just saying that that doesn't actually exist. It's centripetal force. Right. I'm lost. I got another glass of wine. Oh no, I got my first glass of wine, which is a red wine. Yeah, I find it interesting. Yeah. Even if it's, I don't know anything about it, it's just interesting, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's confusing. Confusing. Look how cozy yeah, the fire you. is. <sighs> oh. oh yeah, it's like when we're going about the stars and that, how amazing it is out there in the universe. You know, how small. Mm. You could literally do a podcast. You two sat there with the fire in the background. Yeah, talking like, about centrifugal. Talking about yeah, but that's the point, though. Yeah, that, that's what makes it to, funny. Yeah, you don't want to be listening. To You're having a chat. White with a white custard. Mm mm mm. But then we have like full sandwiches and buffet. Mum would have made mince pies and cakes and butterfly buns always featured as well. No. <laughs> um, back then. Waiting for what the camembert. Camembert, camembert, uh uh. Yeah, boy, look at them. It's got We've a nice got amount of bread going on there. Ooh! Wow. I'm excited. Oh, do we, we need more knives, don't we? <sighs> Dad's toasting the bread in the fire. I'll put them on there, look. You want to go eat food? You want to go eat food? Dad, you, oh dear. You know, don't cut the side, though. You meant to cut the middle. What do you mean the middle? Don't, you meant to dip the things in it? Don't you, don't eat you open these and you dip things I in like this. You can eat the stuff though, can't you? Well, Who yeah, but you, Dad, no, because if you cut the edges, it'll all come spilling out. Oh, I'm not going to cut this, it's got a wooden head. Oh, no. What? Look, careful. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's half there. Let me dip a carrot into it. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Oh, boy. <sighs> yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Are you cooking the tea? <laughs> We're watching health. Me and Tommy just made little ice cream sundaes. Didn't we? <laughs> That's cute. Look at the fire. Look how cute that is. Well, bro. Huh. Yeah. Nice fire. <laughs> well, bro, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate it my Sunday. I feel very full. I got to my sherry. First time having sherry in many years. I swear the last time I had sherry was when I was like 10. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I had sherry was when I was like 10. <laughs> it smells like. I don't know. Oh, actually. Smells like meat. Smells like ass. Smells like ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, dude, you're eating again. Oh, damn. Let's pudding one of three. I bet you get more. <laughs> oh, that was nice. What's he doing? Oh. What's he doing? Chia. Chia. <laughs> We've had so much alcohol. <laughs> Some of had enough. Mum, that was not me. 
It's a buckaroo. Well, no, what's the one? The uh, thingy that flicks you off. Buckaroo. No, it's not. I know back. what it means. Where you sat on it and it spins round. Yeah. Rodeo thing. Rodeo. That's it. Come on, dog. Yeah, it means back. Just mind those things down there. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, do you need to see a chiropractor? Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to see a police officer. Mind the glasses behind you. I know, I saw it. It's got a van in it. <laughs> it's checking for money, don't we? <laughs> we was watching some Elvis program. Pit cat. What the? <laughs> 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 I was in the room. You caught him on camera. But last I thought I was unconscious. Hey! Baby, up Scotty. And the fire nearly gone out, pretty much. How are you feeling, Dad? <laughs> Wait, what's happened to my face? <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? I don't understand. <laughs> These two are still doing weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to end this video. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this is Christmas Eve, by the way. Uh, at least you're not semi detached. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can I also point out this is a joke in case anyone thinks it's not? <laughs> it does happen very regularly. No. No. I'll keep you facing. Right, I should probably end this video. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. Because it's Christmas Eve today. Which means that Christmas is tomorrow. I'm going to say goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't look good. <laughs> None of us do. It's a good camera. Hi, bro. Huh? Nice camera. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>